Hello everyone, my name is Eunice Sanjara from Local Girls High School, Form 4. Welcome to Science Hub. My colleague is Matri Shangeshi. And today we'll be discussing about nervous system in animals. Some of the terms you'll find in this topic are receptors and effectors. Receptors are those parts of the body which receive stimuli. And effectors are parts that bring out response. I will be drawing a diagram to show how the nerve impulse is transmitted. Here we see a nerve impulse comes from the receptor where the sensory neuron is formed and it is taken to the central nervous system where the brain is and then the central nervous system sends an impulse to the effector through a motor neuron. Now, the chart below shows uh, the flow of impulses in the body. Now, we have in neurons we have two types of neurons, three types of neurons. We have the sensory neuron, motor neuron, and the, and the relay neuron. The neuron, the sensory neuron, transmits impulses from the receptors to the central nervous system, while the motor neuron transmits impulses transmits impulses from the central nervous system to the effectors. Now the cell, cell body is located within the central nervous system. It is, it is a multipolar, which means many processes arise from the cell body. Now my friend here is going to draw just a diagram on the, on the sensory neuron. With this, we're going to explain the parts and the functions of the neuron system.
But this diagram simply shows the parts of a neuron system. We have the axon. It transmits impulses away from the cell body. We also have the central cell. The central cell secretes the myelin sheath, which is right over here. And the myelin sheath uh, illustrates the axon, insulates the axon. We also have the cell body that coordinates the cell, the cell, the nerve cells. Now that's an example of a neuron motor. So to move on, A nerve impulse is an electric signal that, trans that is transmitted along a nerve fiber. The neuron consists of a cell body and extensions that are called dendrites, as I've shown you just right now. We, we move on to the central nervous system. And over here we have the brain, the spinal cord, and yeah, just that, the brain and the spinal cord. The brain, it's enclosed by a bony structure called the skull. It, it is covered by, by protective membranes called meninges. The membrane are dual matter, pure matter, and caracoid. The dura matter is a tough outer layer that covers the brain and the spinal cord, which is made up of connecting tissues and the and rich network of capillaries. Pure matter is the innermost membrane cover, covering the brain and the spinal cord. It composes of many blood capillaries and lymph vessels. The caracoid layer is the space between the dura matter and the pure matter. It is filled with cerebral, cerebral spinal fluid which surprise oxygen and nutrients to the brain cells. Now parts of our brain, brain include the medulla oblongata, the cerebrum, thalamus, hypothalamus, and the cerebrum. Now, the medulla oblongata consists of centers of the atomic, automatic nerve system. It contains the center that controls reflex action, activities or actions, such as ventilation, rate, heart beat rate, and the blood pressure. We also have the cerebellum. Now this controls the muscular movements and body posture. It coordinates movement, damage of cerebellum, results to, that results in uncoordinated movements. We have the thalamus. Thalamus is located in the middle part of the brain. Now it perceives pain and pressure. It also contains the center of integration, sensory information. We also move on to the hypothalamus. Now this is the main controlling region of the automatic nervous system. Now it is very rich in blood supply. It has centers that control thirst, appetite, sleep, work wakefulness, and homeostasis. It also acts as an endocrine gland. We have the cerebrum. Now, this is the largest part of the brain. It controls voluntary movements, controls planning, reasoning, and memory. It also controls some involuntary activities. We are going to show you with a diagram some of the parts of the brain. Now, as I had told you earlier, we had the hypothalamus that is found in between the amygdala, and the yeah, and the hippocampus, which is the memory, which is used for memory. Now, this is the brain stem, and we also have the cerebellum that coordinates the movements. 
uh, as I also told you earlier, from this side of the brain, we have the left frontal lobe and the salivian fasciaries. We also have the cerebellum, as I talked, uh, as I had told you earlier, which is found under near the brain. From the right side, we can see the right frontal lobe, and from the back, we have the right cerebral hemisphere and uh, the left cerebral hemisphere. Uh, with that, uh, with that, I'm sure you know the parts of a brain system. We have come to the end of our discussion today on Science Hub. My name is Nini Sandera, Margaret Changeshi, Kiki Tadini TV, Watch and Run.